guys, let me here. Welcome back to another art video. This is the last video that is going up before the year is up of 2015. So this is on New Year's Eve. It is a picture of Rosalina from Super Mario Galaxy and her Luma. I really wanted to do a picture of Rosalina for New Year's because I always associate New Year's with stars and stuff. And um, yeah, I thought it would be really appropriate to do Rosalina with that sort of theme and I wanted to do something simple. I've done a lot of, I guess you guys wouldn't know this, but before I got on YouTube I did a lot of Mario princess fan art on DeviantArt. So I did a ton of pictures of Princess Peach and Daisy and Rosalina and those were my most popular deviations or whatever submitted to that website. So that's kind of um, what I was known for on there. And I really love those characters and um, I love Nintendo a lot. And I just thought that with New Year's coming up and I don't know, I just thought Rosalina would really fit the mold for this sort of holiday. So here you'll see I drew, I drew her and her Luma and I wanted to do a full body picture, that much I knew, and I wanted to have a big swooshing dress. I did a deviation where I dressed her up as like Marilyn Monroe, which was really cool, but I ended up uh, selling the original a long time ago, and I really liked that picture. So this is kind of inspired by that old picture where her dress was kind of like coming up a little bit, and I just think that it's fun because it adds a lot of kind of interest to the picture when the clothing is moving and the hair is moving and and it doesn't make everything look so static. So I knew I wanted it full body and I wanted to have a lot of motion with it. And how I helped that along was when I colored the background, I used a lot of different stroking patterns to kind of emphasize that things were moving. Um, so. Another thing to mention was that I lined this picture with a Copic multi-liner. It was like a turquoise one, so that was kind of weird because the Luma's eyes are black, but I tried to use a brown to soften it a bit, but it's definitely the darkest part of the picture. Uh, just like it was the darkest part of the combination of two characters for the official art. It just, that's the way it is because the Luma's eyes are black. So I tried to soften it a little bit, but I don't think I succeeded too much. And yeah, but I, I kind of like it. I don't really mind so much that the eyes are popping out so much, but eh. I really like the picture as a whole, and I hope you guys like it as well. I, uh, I haven't really done many, like, speed paints, speed paints lately, I feel. Like... I feel like I'm doing so many reviews and different things like that or collaborations or things of that nature. So it's really nice just to get back into like a simple speed paint. It's kind of where I started when I started my channel and it's what I enjoy the most probably is just drawing something I want to draw and uploading it. So really excited about that and I have like so many videos just to say like this coming year. I have so many videos in stock. Hold on, let me get my pad right here. One, two, three, four, five, five, seven. All right, I have seven finished speed paints that I haven't even made into videos yet. So that's like maybe two months worth of art videos, well I guess Technically, I also have a Patreon video that I finished all the three pictures too. So, I have like seven videos in stock, and I'm just like, ah, oh, so much to do with video editing. But I have so many things I want to draw, so I really want to get back into the speed paints. But I also have a lot of other things I want to do. Like, I want to review certain things that I got for Christmas, and just like, mm, there's just a lot of a lot of stuff to do. So much stuff to do, so little time. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this picture. 
Normally I do like a full background, but I just wanted to do something somewhat simple. I wanted to keep the colors very light and pastel-like and just kind of like enjoy the character for the form of the drawing or whatever, if that makes any sense. As opposed to having like a whole scene, it's like just an interesting pose instead. So yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful New Year's and I hope everyone has a better next year. <laughs> so let me know if you guys have any New Year's resolutions. I'd be really interested in hearing those. I tend to not make New Year's resolutions. I just kind of go like, next year I'm just going to be better. <laughs> so that's kind of like hard to not have a set goal, but what kind of goals do you guys have? Because maybe that might, might help me a bit, I don't know, to succeed smaller sort of goals. <laughs> Who knows? Um, also, I figured I better mention that the giveaway that I did a product review of for the um, Color It coloring books, that is still open. So if you have not yet already left a comment in that video, please go ahead and do that as the 2nd of January, I will be picking the three winners and I'll be leaving the names of the winners inside of that video. Um, so if you like want to know, you can go back there and check who won, but I will be messaging the winners individually anyway. So that's how I'm going to be doing it. And uh, yeah, have a great week and I'll talk to you guys again in another art video. Okay, take care. Bye guys.